want to do this video, but I think it's time that I do because I haven't given credit to who deserves it, and that's the most high. I've talked about how my passion for travel led me to this lifestyle, but what I really mean is that it just allowed me to be open to living abroad. In 2014, I had this spiritual awakening. I literally changed pretty much all of my ways. The Sabbath to me is Friday sundown, the Saturday sundown, so I don't, I don't do anything on Saturdays. I don't wash clothes. I don't, I don't do anything but worship the Most High, praise the Most High, um, and study. We gather with people that we can gather with to talk about scripture, which are sisters and brothers to us, but that's about it. Now, I don't want this channel and didn't want this channel to be about my spirituality or what I believe in. There are many channels like that, just like the one that I have um, a niche for now, which is uh, Black Americans or expats traveling and living in Africa. Even, even with all of that, I didn't want my channel to be about what I believed in. I've been pondering in my head, like, what am I supposed to talk about? What am I supposed to be doing? Like, I, I, I travel, I love to travel, but there's also a, a reason why I'm going to certain places and I haven't been 100% honest about it because, or just really, I haven't said anything. I am on a spiritual journey and it is and has been orchestrated by the Most High. There have been some things that I cannot explain to you that have taken place that just didn't make no sense. It didn't make sense at all. But when you're dealing with the Most High, it, it does. It makes perfect sense. I was obedient to what the Most High told me and my family to do, and that was live abroad. Initially, I was gonna go to Mexico, but then things changed and we ended up in Tanzania. It was a little bit more complicated to stay for an extended period of time. So we ended up being led through prayer um, and just seeking the most type of answers to Egypt, which is why we are here now. I can't tell you that we're gonna stay here uh, forever, but I will say that when we're called to leave or you know go somewhere else we're, we're doing that exactly that because that that's what we do it's all about obedience right that is why i call myself an expat with nomadic tendencies it's important to have a hub a place where you can reside you don't have to take your bags everywhere you go none of that stuff some people refer to themselves as just repats or expats or digital nomads and, and technically I'm all of that, but expat with nomadic tendencies just sounds kind of saucy, right? I know, right? Yeah. So that's that's how you know I, I that's what I identify myself as an expat, and I have nomadic tendencies. It's just like the U.S. I'm just operating on the east instead of the west side of the world. One of the hardest things to do was trying to express myself without causing confusion but it still caused confusion anyway because when people are not on the same uh, level of understanding as you i won't say that a person is not spiritual just because they haven't received the same word that you've received i believe that the most high gives everyone gives and um spiritual ears to hear so whatever he tells you to do that's what you're supposed to be obedient to you know what i'm saying but it's kind of like difficult to change and then and i mean it's just drastic but that's how the most i do it i mean he flips you in 2.5 seconds and, and everything you knew is upside down turned around and you go through all of these emotions and you're trying to explain it but it doesn't sound right it sounds like your bible thumping and just all of this stuff and so i got to a point where i just got tired of trying to explain it you know and i just wanted my what i was feeling inside to be that's what i wanted i wanted to leave babylon mindset and all and don't get me wrong 
just because you leave Babylon or what we consider the U.S., the states, whatever you want to call it, you have to still do the spiritual work and the cleansing and the praying and the meditation on the word because that's what washes you. So for me, I just wanted to do this video to get it out there like like a, a, a spiritual cleansing. And like I said, give the Most High all the praise, the honor, and the glory for calling our names and instructing us on what to do. There are so many people waking up um, and just talking about how they have been hearing you know, the ancestors are, are telling them to leave America or, you know, the most high told them or they had a dream about Christ and, and you know, they saw well, tribulation come into Babylon. It's, it's just a whole lot to talk about, you know, but some of us are just tired, more tired than, than others. The last and final thing that I think is important for uh, people to know who want to be expats or um, who are being called to do something and they're not doing it. I'm gonna say this. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And you don't want the father to be knocking at your door. And you continue to tell him, I'm coming. And you have him waiting so long to one day he don't knock no more. You don't want that. I don't care if you got to come with one shoe and half a sweater. Have faith enough to know that he will take care of you because you were obedient. I'm not talking about the people who are doing this for a fad. They haven't been called. They just want to do it because everybody else is doing it. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who, who have know for a fact that they have been called. Some of y'all been called for years and you have not moved once. Keep on. Keep on getting that whooping. Keep on asking for it if you ain't got it yet. I promise you, after you get that whooping, you're going to be begging for the Father to use you. You hear me? Be used when you know he's calling you to be used. Don't, no, no, no. Don't be playing with the most high like that, please. I don't care what it looks like to other people. You're going to look crazy. Look crazy. Look crazy. But the most high, he higher than, than anybody on this earth. He can do whatever he want to do. Anything he want to do. You think he feel any kind of way about you feeling some kind of way about leaving and being obedient to him? He don't care nothing about that. You better do what you was called to do. I'm going to stop rambling. I just wanted to, to share this. Free myself. All praise be to the most high. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Really on Instagram because that's where I, I do a lot of my reels and stuff like that. And um, keep up with me. Show me some love. Share this video. You know, leave a comment. Like it. Hit that bell so you don't miss when I post new videos. And um, I'm, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Love you so much. Bye.